so every day I drink my BCAAs. Depending if I train or not, I don't take as much to other days, whatever. Um, I decided to make some papas. I was really craving them. So I just diced up about one papa and I threw it in some boiling water just to soften them up a little bit. Threw them in a pan with some onions and eventually I added green pepper. Uh, everybody always asks how I cut my kiwi, so this is me kind of attempting to show you guys almost cutting my fingers off. Legit, I just threw some just egg in the microwave and called it a day, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Later on in the day, we stopped and I got a dragon fruit, oh my god, fruit, blah, 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 dragon fruit vegan, like, acai bowl, acai, don't judge me, okay, I can never say it correctly. This was super good, it had peanut butter, uh, banana. A vegan protein and pineapple okay and then later on that day we went to LA and we went to vegan exchange LA remember I'm not vegan but I am eating like vegan food and I got some like mac and cheese with like steak fake bites oh my freaking god and then I got these dumplings and we got sushi holy shit you can tell my face I was like shooketh it tasted so good we got a little bit of everything, but these dumplings were really good too, except they were kind of expensive, but whatever. We also had to try an Oreo shake. So. All right, moving forward here, I got this protein dairy-free yogurt stuff, which it really didn't have flavor, so I added a lot of cinnamon, and I just threw in some banana and kiwi and just did like a yogurt bowl, nothing amazing here, but it filled me up. And then later for lunch, I tried one of these plant-based Hot Pockets because I've been craving one, and it was okay. All right, so I just marinated some tempeh and coconut aminos and agave. I'm mixing up some mayonnaise and sriracha for like a spicy mayo sauce. I let the tempeh marinate and then just cook that for a little bit till it got brown. I made some quick white rice, cut up some cucumbers, cut up some carrots, and I just added everything together. I added some seaweed pieces in there too because I was feeling like a poke bowl once I started making this. This came out really, really good. I was like sugar. And then there's something about bagels that uh, just has my heart. So later on that evening, I had a bagel. Don't judge me. I love bagels. You know, I go to sleep eating a bagel and I wake up eating a bagel. Whatever. This is my life. <laughs> For breakfast, I put some peanut butter and a banana because my bananas were going bad and I needed to use them on a bagel. And this took a lot longer and a lot harder than it looks. And then I just added cinnamon because honestly the cinnamon just gives it a touch here. And I need some extra protein so I just made a quick protein coffee with a little bit of creamer and some water and called it a day. Got a little fancy with my little whipped cream. Yeah, there's breakfast. Super simple. I pretty much eat this like at least three times out of the week. I'm not even kidding. But it fills me up so don't judge me. Later on in the day I had a piña fresa drink. It was really good. It was whatever. Yeah, it was fine. And then I had a quesarito. Oh my god, don't judge me. Later on for lunch, we went out to eat and I got like a plant-based fiesta. You know, now looking back at this day, it was not my best eating day because I had Taco Bell and then I had this. <sighs> this is why it's called what I eat in a day realistic because this is my life. So yeah, this was delicious. The next morning, I was feeling some French toast, also just trying to use up everything I had, so I just used some just egg and spice it up with more cinnamon, because I put cinnamon on everything, you know, nothing special here, just cooking my bread. Okay, and then same old, same old protein drink, you've already seen this from earlier, I was running out of whipped cream. I added some agave and some hemp seeds to my French toast, and this freaking hit the spot. Devoured everything. I don't know why I always stand up when I'm eating, okay? I know. I have a freaking table. I don't use it. I just feel like I have no patience, no time, and I'm always doing something, so I just eat standing up in my kitchen, and I don't know. Drink your mother freaking water. Stay hydrated, okay? Later on, we went to Topper's in... More Park, Thousand Oaks, and I got a salad with a whole bunch of shit garbanzos, croutons, mushroom, Thousand Island, like, oh my god. I got a big salad too. And then, here I am looking so happy because it's so freaking good. And I cannot tell you guys how much Thousand Island I put on this, but my god. My god. And I got a little small pizza. <laughs> I got a little small mushroom pizza, but yeah, toppers 
hits the spot, okay? This is what I always get. Once we go in that area, it's a go-to. Okay, so on the way home, I was feeling kind of hungry, and then I saw a fruit stand, so I got this beautiful, voluptuous plate of fruit that I had like mango, pineapple, cucumber, uh, chili powder, and just like lemon. Oh my god, it's so freaking good. I devoured everything. Um, I maybe shared like a piece and the rest was mine. But yeah, got some fruta. So you already know I love eating this all the time. All right, moving forward here. This day I just made some oatmeal, just plain old oatmeal, rolled oats. I put some warm water so I can just hurry up and make it really quickly. I added a scoop of protein powder which makes it a little more thicker <laughs> that's what he said so yeah just mixing that up I put some raspberries peanut butter hemp seeds black seeds in here it's usually what I always put in my oatmeal and then for lunch even though it's 116 degrees I had some lentils that I needed to use so I boiled them that's what you're seeing right here and then I chopped up some onion and then I chopped up tomato and one serrano chile because I cannot do spicy stuff. So chopping all that up. I added some oil in my pot here and then I just added all, uh, all of everything that I cut up and let that cook for a little bit maybe like 10 minutes or so once my lentils was done I cooked them for about I don't know like 15 minutes I just added everything in there and then I added like a little veggie broth cube thing and yeah this came out really good I think I would have added another chila just to make it a little bit more spicy but it was really delicious I was like impressed even though it really did give me major farts after but I think that's just a personal issue <laughs> Yes, yes, you're looking at this correctly. For breakfast, I had some apple nachos, which is just about like two to three apples, granola, almond peanut butter, hemp seeds, cinnamon. Oh my God. If you have not tried this, like you seriously need to try this. It is the best snack. And for me personally, it like fills me up. So I had apple nachos for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And what is this? Oh, this is some quinoa that I'm boiling up right here. I just threw together like garbanzos, carrots, onions, peppers in a pan. And I just added a little bit of soy sauce in there and just gave it some flavor. I also added some coconut aminos in there. Let that cook for about 10, 15 minutes. Threw on a lot of greens, threw on my quinoa, and then threw on my garbanzo veggie mix, we're gonna call that. I don't know, but it turned out really good. A lot of flavor in here. So I just had like a big old salad, which I was very happy with myself because the rest of this video wasn't my greatest eating. So this kind of makes up for it. So I was feeling super unmotivated. I really felt lazy, didn't know what to make for breakfast. So I just was like, let me make a big old smoothie. So frozen fruit, protein powder, water, a lot of ice. Um, I put flaxseed, I put some hemp seed in here. And yeah, a smoothie it was. And it actually filled me up, so not too much to complain about here. I have a smoothie almost a couple days out of the week because you can literally change it up all the time and they always come out good, so. Okay, for lunch, this is by far, I feel like, the best thing I've made. Well, maybe I was just really hungry, but I made a stir fry. I always make a stir fry, but something about this stir fry just turned out mm, so good. Chopped up all my veggies, a lot of shrooms. Um, I got bok choy. I got white onion. Threw that in a pan with some garlic. Let that cook up a little bit. And then I added all my veggies and I let that cook. I added a little bit of water so my veggies would get soft a little faster. But just alone, this looks magnificent, okay? And then, oh, I added some tofu pieces in there just to get a little more protein. Uh, in the meantime, I put some rice noodles to boil. These are really good and they cook really quickly. Never makes rice noodles. 
I have these in my house 24 seven now because they are so good. Okay, and then I just added some sauce, which is honestly just some soy sauce and agave, and I threw some sesame seeds in there. Oh my god. I added some garbanzos because I found those in my cabinet, so I was like, let's just throw everything together. I let this cook for about 10 minutes, and just the smell of this alone, I was like, oh my god. This is going to be so good. Once my rice noodles was done, I just added everything on top. Just looking at this. I'm just gonna make some more because it was literally so good you guys and super easy and a lot of veggies and then I just threw in some green onions on top uh so good look at that mm-hmm Okay, so I made a balsamic vinegar mix here and I put all the ingredients so hopefully you guys enjoy this. I use this on salads and stuff and I was like let me just throw this in my video. as well. I throw this on my salads and sometimes instead of my burgers. 